Hi, this is Debbie. I'm here to talk about Studio 3.0 again. A lot of people are really upset and concerned that we have lost the no cut and the cut edge. And I have to say, this is one feature I really miss. And when I spoke to Silhouette today, they are considering or they know that we miss it and are trying to get it back into this software with the new update. So hopefully they do because I think this can be rather a bit of a pain. Okay, we can cut by, when the Studio Designer Edition, you can cut by layers or you can cut by line color. So I'm going to show you the layers first. I'm going to open the layers and as you can see I have named them and the way that we do this is you double click there and you can just name blue square and now just type outer again there we go and then on my layer two I put the red square and the inner red square and this actually should be up on its own layer it shouldn't be here with my, with the features of the bunny rabbit and I don't know what happened so we'll create a new layer by clicking this plus new layer looks like layer 4 there and I am going to drag the red square down to this new layer 4 that I created and now I need to go up here and find that other piece the inner red square and I'm going to drag it down here to the layer 4 So now it's on its own layer. And this is how you can add new layers. And then here I saw one that I thought I had deleted earlier because I don't see anything on. Oh, right there. Layer 2. We can just take that out by hitting the minus button. So now you know how to name your layers, how to create a new layer. And now we're going to learn how it works with the cutting. So we're going to go over here to our cut settings window and I sure hope I'm not confusing everyone and as you can see up here it tells us the material that we're going to cut because we over here we've already selected that um, down here it shows you the layers that how they exist but I'm going to close this out so I can go to the advanced settings now right here if I change it to say vinyl with all of these selected, let's see, we'll go to this, we'll go to vinyl, that will cut vinyl. For each of these layers, I have to select the media I want to use. Then you want to make sure that you have your line pattern because like I showed you earlier I had a perforated line but it cut straight because I didn't change this on the layer and then down here you have your auto weld now if I hit auto weld everything up there is selected remember look at this there we go it's auto welded everything that means it's just gonna cut the edge so silhouette thinks this is replacing our cut edge no, it's not. It, it's, like I said, it's kind of a pain. I want to be able to select these and say, I want this to cut edge, and I don't, and cut them all at the same time. Not have to run this through more than once. Okay, now, I'll show you how you do have to do that. So, let's turn off the layer one, layer one and the layer three which I don't know what layer four 
so those are turned off the bunny file still on and it's still on auto weld if I take it off auto weld you will see it will show it will cut all through these lines here too so for the bunny I would definitely want this on auto weld but now I've got to turn the auto weld back on run it through and cut it without these being being on except for if I just let's go turn on layer one okay that's great if I just want a square cut out but what if I want this bunny rabbit in this square to be cut more like a frame I'm not going to be able to do it so I have to go back up deselect my bunny go back down here to the advance turn my auto weld off turn my bunny off and run that through the cutter so it would just cut out this frame for me now we're going to go up here and try and show you the other thing okay if we cut by color notice I made the blue lines I have the blue and then I select the red lines there we go now on the red lines I want it auto weld but look what it did I selected the red lines but it auto welded the blue and the red so now I'll have to if I want to cut a frame here for the red one I'm going to turn off the blue one go back down here take the auto weld off so now I can cut a frame out come on silhouette America I love you, you have great software but you really needed to think this one out a little bit more but while I'm here there was another thing that I didn't like earlier and this was the fact that when I was in this mode I couldn't move any of these or do anything well they did add, add a nice feature up here you just can toggle back and forth so now I can move these around of course they're not grouped and then I can go back to my cut settings oh and that's another thing too <clears throat> I want to show you I'm just gonna go back to the regular page and group these now remember the layers how I had all of them named okay so I'm going to group these and group these and group these so now I'm going to open up the layers menu again and look I no longer have everything all named named except for this and I don't understand why the outer right ear oh I must have not selected that to as part of the group I didn't so let's group oops that's an ungroup let's group still didn't let's try this again okay now that ear is in there so I'm gonna hit group now there we go if I ungroup them again it will show me all of the names of my layers again okay now oh another thing I don't know if I can show it to you because this is not hooked up to my cameo but if we go to cut settings see now no silhouette device connected I was going to tell show you because I just learned myself tonight um, where the little um, icon is to do a test cut well it's all the way up in the corner when you hit this it'll be like way up in the corner there and you have to make sure to hit this button when you're cutting so you have it will say ready and you can always click that and then do a test cut so anyway I hope I didn't confuse everyone more I know that there are some really nice features here I'm sure Silhouette is working really hard to take care of some of these things we're not liking and hopefully we'll see our no cut and cut edge features back. 
Oh, and also they will are going to address the issue of the perforated lines because when I select a line here, let me show you. And I totally changed the color of the line just so it, I could get cut my perforated lines, you know, blue. So I went to line color and I selected the blue. Then I went to line style and I selected this. But when I went to cut settings, it cut as a straight solid line. Yes, it did. So what I had to do for this part was to turn off my color blues. No, I'm sorry. I had to turn off my color reds. And then I had to go to the advanced settings. And here and choose my line style and then choose like style four for my perforated line for these of course right now since this is also in blue it's going to be cut out like a perforated line as well so there's going to be a lot of little checks you have to make too before you do your cuts now they did tell me they were also going to fix this issue so hopefully we'll get a lot of this resolved now for those of you who are just now using the 3.0 if you know you can uninstall it and then reinstall the the what they call the legacy edition that they still have on the silhouette <coughs> site that's the 2.9.45 if you don't mind doing these things to to go ahead but if you want to wait until they get some of the new updates done you can revert to the 2.9.45 legacy edition they um, a lot of people are concerned because it says that their uh, designer edition software is in use and they you've already used it or I got the same message I wrote to silhouette and told them I've been installing and uninstalling and doing all this stuff fiddling with learning the program and stuff like that so it also said that I had used all of my designer edition license keys and they reset them for me and they know that we're all going through problems like that so if you have this problem just contact silhouette support and ask them to please reset your designer edition license key okay well that's all I have for now I hope I helped not confused have a great evening I'll see you later bye bye